go to any pub in any other country and they want you to tell a story about your home country. Forget about Bob Hawke sculling a beer, tell them the time that we've lost a war to the emus. Why are we doing an episode about emus, Kate? <laughs> After the First World War, a bunch of British and Australian war vets were encouraged by the federal government to take up wheat farming in Western Australia. At the same time, the emu population of Western Australia was making its annual migration to the more fertile regions on the coast. So about 20,000 emus decided that the cultivated wheat crops would make a really good stopover and fences and the crops were torn to shreds by birds, giant birds. It was quickly decided by the local ex-military farmers that what was needed was military intervention. In particular, machine guns. After all, kangaroo culling wasn't that unheard of, and emu cull, practically the same thing, right? A petition led to the appointment of Royal Australian Artillery Major GPW Meredith. Two machine guns, a small party of soldiers, and 10,000 rounds of ammunition. But first, an anatomy lesson. Emus have been reported at running up to 60 kilometers per hour. 60 kilometers an hour. Emus have been recorded running up to 60 kilometers per hour. And by sticking out their seemingly useless wings, they create an air brake and can swivel 180 degrees full speed. A bullet can't do this. No sooner was the conflict initiated, the cunning of the marauding emu herds became very apparent. The first week saw the emus emerge victorious, with the soldiers 2,500 bullets in and the emus only 200 men down. Attempts were made to ambush the emus, they strapped the machine guns to lorries and drove them around for a bit. It was complete chaos. After a fortnight, the Minister for Defence called for an immediate withdrawal. In the ensuring debate in the House of Representatives, the Minister for Defence was named Honorary Minister for the Emu War, and the assertion was made that if anyone was going to receive a medal for this war, it would have to be the emus. This actually happened. <laughs>